Good evening. Hello guys, good evening. Hello everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, okay, thank you so much for coming. Good to see you guys. So let's get started with the class. I hope you have a great week and that tomorrow you can rest a lot. So uh, just as a reminder, we won't have classes tomorrow, right? Vamos a tener clases mañana because it is going to be the Father's Day, right? If I'm not wrong. Father's Day. Yes, the Instead. Father's Day. Okay, so tomorrow you are going to be ah, resting, right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations to the fathers and mothers at the same time. Okay. <laughs> So uh, let's see, give me just a moment to share my screen. Tomorrow is free. To, yes, it is going to be free. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and on Monday, I think we're going to finish, right? It's going to be on Monday. Okay, so let's start with the lesson. Um, I, we have to take advantage, right, of the time we have so not to waste it too much because later on we can <coughs> like regret. Okay, so we have uh, the lesson and before starting, I want to know if uh, there are some questions, for example, about any topic that we have studied. No sé si hay alguna duda. Um, hemos estudiado mucho, right? We have studied a lot. Okay, we have studied the alphabet. We have studied the numbers too. El, the simple present. Simple present. Let's see. Um, what is the other? A uh, verb to be, right? Verb to be. Um, what is the other, guys? Remind me, please. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. What else? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, the right. Time. Yes, right. We have the present. Yes, present progressive. And also telling the time. Telling time. That's good. So basically, we have a study a lot. Okay, let's start with the topic. El día de ayer. Yesterday, we study. There is, right, and there are, we have studied the prepositions of place, of time. So we have made a brief, a big improvement. Okay, so let's go with the topic. And uh, we are going to have, pardon me for the letter E. So we're going to study the prepositions of place. Mas, el there is y there are, okay? So we're going to study the prepositions of place. Okay, so pretty much that is what we are going to study. Let's see what they are and then we're going to construct, right? To build some of the sentences. Okay, so we have this vocabulary well, about what we have in the bathroom. There are more things, but we're going to just um, Look at some of the words. Okay, let me let me see something. Um, okay, give me just a second.
Okay, there it is. So we have uh, the first war that, that is the waste basket, right? The waste basket, que es el basurero, waste basket. Then we have the vanity, right? Vanity, it can have a lot of meaning. Okay, the vanity. Tenemos number two, that it is the vanity. Okay, it is according to this, it is like the place where you put the things, but también tiene otro significado de vanity. Uh, yes, como está este material, the vanity, that is like the, the meaning. That is like the, the meaning of the, the vanity. Then we have the soap, right? That it is this part, the soap. Then we have the soap dish, que sería como donde se, se coloca, right? The, the soap, el jabón, the soap. Then we have the sink, right? In the bathroom, the sink, 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 this part of the bath. Okay, that is the, the sink. Then we have uh, the faucet, right? Que sería esto, this one, the faucet. When you are opening the faucet. So that is the faucet. Then we have the medicine cabinet, que sería this part. The medicine cabinet, this one. Then we have number eight, que es el mirror, mirror. Sería el espejo, right? Mirror. Then we have the cup, a cup, right? Normal. Then we have the toothbrush, el recipio de dientes, the toothbrush. Then we have the toothbrush holder, donde colocamos los cepillos. That is the toothbrush holder. And uh, then we have the hair dryer, que sería la secadora, the hair dryer. And uh, then we have the shelf, que sería this part, the shelf, el estante, right? Then we have uh, uh, the hamper. Okay, the hamper where you put all the cloth, clothes, that is going to be the hamper, como el cesto, right? Then we have the fan, the fan, el, el, donde es que está el fan, es, es el, el ventilador, el fan. What is it? No lo veo el ventilador. What is the fan, guys? Do you see the fan? In the... Mm -hmm. Techo. En el techo. Oh, in the ceiling. Guys, we studied that. <laughs> Los estaba probando. <laughs> yes, it is, it is on the ceiling, right? Okay. So then we have the, ba the bath towel, right? The bath towel. Que sería en las toallas del baño. So basically, that is pretty much uh, the vocabulary we have for today. So uh, do you have any question? Mm -hmm. No questions? 36, so. Okay, 30, 30, 30. Um. I don't see 36, sorry. Okay. Está parado el señor. It is, is that the scale? It can be the scale for weight. Okay, mm. the scale for weight. Mm -hmm. okay. Wait. Scale for weight. Okay. So pretty much that is the vocabulary. So mm. let's see, number one, please, Wendy, leamola. Let's read it. Number one. Uh, was, was the bag? Waste the, basket. Uh, mm, muy bien. Uh, Waste basket. Okay, number two, Jose, please. Vanity. 
vanity. Mm -hmm. Vanity, right. Vanity. 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 Okay, very good. Roxana, please, number uh, three. Let's read it. Vamos a leerlo, Roxana. Well, soap, right? Then we have number four, please. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Alejandra, please, number four. Yes, this, this. Yes, right, the soap dispenser. Yes, Okay, very good. Okay, please, Karina, Karina, please. Uh, can you please read the number five? Uh, ba bathroom sink. We have the bathroom. Bathroom sink. Very good, excellent. Then we have number seven, Gabriela, please. Faucet. Oh, yes, we have the faucet, right? Faucet. Okay, um, esta palabra soup, tengamos cuidado porque a veces la podemos confundir with, hay una que se parece a lot, que es, es, es this one, right? The soup, que es la, la sopa de soup, la pronunciation. Tengamos cuidado with the pronunciation. Let's see, and pronunciation. No me sale. Okay, soup. Ok, cuando es una sopa. Pero en el caso que estamos hablando del jabón sería soap, right? Soap. Uh -huh. Ahí estamos en la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Soup, like usted come, right? The one you eat. And then we have the soap. Soap, que se escucha la U. Tenemos el, que es el jabón. Ok, thank you. So let's continue, please. Alison, number... Number eight, please, Alison. Medicine, uh, number seven, number eight. Yes, number eight, please. Medicine cab ca cabinet. Yes, we have the medicine cabinet, excellent. Okay, number eight, can you help me? Let's see, Jonathan, please. Good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Mirror. Okay, we have the mirror, right? Yes, perfect. Thank you. Maybe, please, number 10. Cool. Yes, we have cup, right? The cup. Okay, thank you, maybe. So, Cynthia, number 11, please, number 11. Fast brush. Toothbrush. Ah, toothbrush. Excellent, okay, okay. Cynthia. Excellent. Vamos con number 12, please. Can you help me? Eh, veamos, Sofía, please. Number 12. Toothbrush holder. Excellent, Sofía. Toothbrush holder. Excellent. Okay, then we have the other one. We have number 13. Okay, can you please help me, Dennis, number 13, what is that? Can you read it? Good evening. Good evening, Dennis. Electric toothbrush. Yes, we have the electric toothbrush, right? Do you have an electric toothbrush? Do you have, Dennis? Uh, I don't uh, know. You don't have electric brush? Tenemos algún eh, cepillo electrónico, toothbrush? No, I have. No, I don't have. Okay, yes. They are very expensive. So, demasiado, right? Too much expensive. Okay, so let's go. Thank you, Dennis. Let's go with the next one. Uh, Alejandra, please. Number 15, Alejandra. Number 15. Shell or shelf? Shelf, right? We shelf. have shelf. Okay, shelf. Exactly, shelf. Then we have uh, the number 16, Karina, please. Wow, can you read it? Hamper. Yes, the hamper, right? That is the uh -huh. hamper. Very good, Karina. It's el sexto, right? The hamper. And uh, the last two, the last two. Me ayuda con las últimas dos. Let's see, Wendy, please. 17. And 18. Vamos a terminar con usted. 17 and 18. Okay. Uh -huh. We have fan. 
fan um, bath tower. En bath towel. Excellent. Oh. Okay. Bath towel. Muy bien. Excellent, Wendy. So let's continue. Vamos a continuar entonces. And uh, this vocabulary is going to help us in the lesson. So keep it in mind. Okay. Let's have uh, uh, this reading about the places, right? We have here. Vamos a leer this reading y vamos a identificar some of the prepositions that we can use. Okay, so let's read it. Vamos a leerlo. Jonathan, please, can you start? I am happy you are. I am happy you are in the apartment this weekend. My cat. Flau fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy mm -hmm. is glad. You're here to please use me my bedroom, clean towels, and she she are in the closet. There there's an extra Blanket in the drawer under the bed. Okay, perfect. We have there a description, right, of what this person has to do. So is there a word in the first paragraph that you have a question? That you have a question? No sé si hay alguna duda. No, okay, let's move on. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. ¿Qué significa fluff, fluffy? Okay, fluffy, fluffy es el nombre. Es el nombre del, ah, del gato. Okay. Uh -huh. Fluffy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sheet. Sheet. Blanket. 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 Okay, blanket. It is eh, como la, la cobija. Blanket. Um, blanket. Saben que también fluffy, eh, lo acabo de encontrar, significa esponjoso. Por eso es que se llama el gato así, ¿verdad? Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> se imaginarán el tipo de gato que será. Ok. So, any other? No sé si alguna otra. Any other? Sheets. Oh, sheets. Sheets. Téngase con esa palabra, tengamos cuidado, right? Oh. Yeah. Um, en este caso, que es doble E, se pronuncia sheets, es una, es, una, es una vocal larga, entonces significan hojas, si usted dice eh, esa I en forma corta, ya va a significar otra cosa, uh -huh. así que ustedes se imaginarán, ¿verdad? El otro significado. Me dio miedito decir eso. <risa> Okay, yes, yes. Okay, so there you have, right? Ahí tenemos some of the words. Vamos al siguiente párrafo. Can you help me? Me ayuda, Roxana, please. Number five, the next paragraph. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the... ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Refri refrigerator. Empty, uh -huh. but the supermarket across the street. The car case are on top of the refrigerator. The car's out of gas, but the gas station close just two blocks away on Main Street. Okay, there you have. Is there a word uh, there, guys? Que tengamos dudas. Hay alguna palabra? Uh -huh. Refrigerador, como se pronuncia. It is, okay, it is going to be refrigerator, right? Refrigerator. O oh, también fridge, Pueden, podemos decir la forma corta, fridge. Y nevera, no sé la mejor. Ah, oh, nevera, let me, let me check that one. Nevera. Oh, it is the fridge, it is the fridge too. The fridge. The fridge, mm -hmm. the fridge, the fridge. Okay, any other guys, questions? 
No questions? Okay, let's continue with the next paragraph. Can you help me? Let's see, Gabriela, the next one, please, the TV. The, the TV is in the cabinet near the window. The remote controls on the counter next to the coffee maker. I think the batteries are dead. Okay, okay, there, there you have, right? So some of the prepositions. Is there a word that you have an idea that you have um, the meaning or is it okay? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, so let's continue with the next one. Can you help me please, uh, Cynthia, the next one, I'm sorry. Okay, Miss. I'm sorry about the cap put on the floor. Flowers, everything makes it the vacuum. Bacon? Bacon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bacon cleaners in the closet. It's all bad. It's worse. The cleaning supplies are behind the plane, the car, gar the garment. Can are outside the front door. I from of the garage. 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 Okay. Okay. Perfect. And we have the words. Some of the words there, right? So, is there a word, guys? Alguna palabra? What is the, the garbage? Garbage or garage? No, garbage. Garbage means a la basura, right? The garbage cans. Ah. Son como okay. los, los que se ocupan to put the, the, the trash there. Los botes, algo así. Exactly. That, that is garbage cans, exactly. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank Perfect. you. Mm -hmm. Are, 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 be, 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 behind? Behind. Behind. Okay, we have this word that we are going to use it to. We have this one that it is behind or behind. Como uh -huh. trasera. Okay. Atrás, de, uh -huh. Tras, behind. No, okay. Yeah, that is behind. <coughs> okay, any other? Messi, Messi, no sé. Bacon. Oh, Bacon. Messi, Messi, uh -huh. Messi, oh, Messi, Messi. It is eh, desordenado, Messi, Messi. Mm -hmm. Bacon, como era okay, it is vacuum, right? Vacuum, vacuum. <coughs> okay, bacon. and uh, vacuum has a different meaning, oh, tiene oh. muchos significados. Eh, puede significar vacío, puede significar pasar la aspiradora o aspirar. En este caso lo vamos a utilizar como la aspiradora. Uh -huh. La aspiradora. La aspiradora, 10. Vacuum. Los. También puedo decir, eh, I vacuum, right? También como verbo se puede utilizar. Oh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, I vacuum my, my room, right? My living room. My living room. Okay, questions? No sé si hay dudas. No? Okay, let's move on. Please, let's continue, Stephanie. See you on Sunday evening. Uh, see you on Sunday. Everything. My bus arrived at five thirty p.m. So ex 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 expect, expect me expect, uh, expect me uh -huh. between six o'clock and seven o'clock. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much part of the reading. Questions about that part? No sé si alguna duda. Okay. Okay. Between. 
Oh, between, between uh -huh. significa en medio de o entre. Ok, thank you. Ok. So, let's continue. Vamos a continuar. There, as you can see, we can identify some of the prepositions that we are about to study. So, here we have the prepositions of place. Recordemos que las prepositions of place nos indican eh, la posición right. The place of something, el lugar de algo. Okay, that is pretty much uh, the prepositions of place. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver algunas. Tenemos, por ejemplo, in. In, right. Tenemos in, que es adentro de in. Tenemos under, que es debajo de. Tenemos uh, on, right, que es encima. Y también tenemos on the top, right. Que también es encima, pero la diferencia es que on top es como que está arriba de todo, right? On top of. O en la cima de, right? Ese es como lo más alto. Then we have behind or behind, que es detrás. Ok, questions with that? No sé si hay dudas. Uh -huh. No questions? Ok, good. So let's create some sentences. Vamos a crear some sentences. So, um, básicamente lo que seguimos en la estructura es el sujeto, right? El verbo. Siempre vamos a seguir el verb and, uh, y luego la preposition. Más el preposition. Preposition of place. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. What the difference, what the difference between on and on top of okay the main difference is that you you for example can have uh, uh, on at any place let's say on the table but imagine you have a table that it is the highest so and you have an object that can be that <coughs> the, that object is on the top o sea que está, oh, okay. el, está en medio está encima de lo más grande right oh, okay. más, más alto okay. uh -huh. Yes? Yes, thanks. Okay, okay, no problem. So, entonces, let's do some of the sentences. Hagamos una oración. Digamos, el gato está dentro de la caja. The cat is in the box, right? Entonces, siempre seguimos la estructura. Sujeto, verbo y la preposición y luego le agregamos el complemento. Okay, no sé si hay dudas, questions. No questions, okay, good. Good, guys. Okay, let me ask you, entonces, vamos a practicar. Okay, vamos a practicar las que ya vimos. Okay, and I need from you a sentence. Necesito que me ayuden a hacer una oración. Let's see, eh, Karina, please, una oración utilizando behind. Only for behind? Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. Una oración, Karina. Behind es antes de, ¿verdad? Behind es detrás de. Detrás de. O atrás ah, de. de. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hagamos una oración. Vamos a hacer una oración. Uh, the table. Ajá. Uh -huh. Behind. Um, And chair. Ch ch ¿Cómo se decía? Ch chair. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Behind the chair. Ok, algo me hace falta ahí. Algo está incompleto. The table. Algo bien importante. The table. Uh -huh. uh, is. is. Muy bien. Is no nos olvidemos. Ah, uh, del, del verbo. Del verbo, right. The table is behind. Is behind. The chair. Hey, the chair. Uh -huh. Yeah. Table is behind the chair. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Karina. Hagamos la siguiente. Uh -huh. Let's see. Can you help me? Veamos. Okay, let's see. Alison, please, can you give me a sentence using the uh, preposition on top of? On top of. Uh, 
Okay, the cell phone uh -huh. is on the top of uh -huh. the refrigerator. Uh -huh, the refrigerator. Okay, that's good, excellent. Okay, that is basically the topic, some of the words, right? No sé si hay dudas, questions. Okay, good guys, let's continue with some others. Tenemos entonces la preposición above, right? Above que se utiliza más que todo cuando tenemos objetos que no tocan la superficie, ese es above. Ok, esos, esos no tocan, a diferencia del on, que sí lo toca, right? Entonces el above es así como lo vamos a utilizar. Luego como tenemos the shelf. Sí, uh -huh. above es como, como que esté en una repisa. Eh, puede ser también como un objeto que está, como, que no toca como la superficie, ese sería above. Es como sobre, pero sin estar encima. Exacto, sin, como, sin tocar la superficie. That's right. Esa sería como la diferencia. Ok, then we have in front of, que sería enfrente de. Eh, then we have next to, que es a la par. A la par de. Y luego tenemos the lamp is near the window. Near es como que está más cerca. De, de un objeto. Then we have between, between, no, between que significa en medio de o entre. Entre. Exactly. Entonces acá vamos a utilizar dos <coughs> objetos, ¿verdad? Between the watches, acá si nos fijamos. And, no nos olvidemos de end, the wallet. Está en medio de el reloj y la wallet. Ok, questions with these ones. No sé si hay, hay alguna duda. Sí, questions. Sí. Yes. Next, next to es al lado. Next to es a la par, right? A la par, ok. okay. Uh -huh. um, teacher, eh, in, uh, uh, in front of, eh, in front of, by, an example. The eh, garage, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero dice al inicio de garbage. Garbage. ¿Cómo? The es? Garbage, es garbage es garbage. Okay, let me show you. Give me just a moment. It is this one. The garbage. Ah, el basurero. Mm -hmm. okay. The garbage can is in front in front of the garage. Okay. Ellos usualmente cuando pronuncian in front of eh, lo hacen unido. Pero cuando le escribimos es separado, right? In front of. Es in front of. Ya, yeah. cuando estamos hablando lo hacen bastante rápido, entonces por eso unen los sonidos. In front of. In front of. Uh -huh. Y across uh -huh. from que es. Ok, ya vamos, ya vamos por ahí, ya vamos a llegar por uh -huh. allí. Ok, son no questions. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's continue. And uh, then vamos entonces with the, this one that it is in front of, right? Uh, the man is in front of the bakery. Tenemos between también, behind, que es detrás, right? Then we have across, from, que puede significar enfrente o al cruce de. That can be the meaning too. Okay, so that is pretty much some of the prepositions. No sé si hay dudas. No. Teacher. Mm -hmm. y across, across from, mm -hmm. y viene siendo y similar o igual a in front of. In front of. Esta, más que todo... Se utiliza como cuando usted está como al cruce de algo, al cross from. Right, that is like the meaning. Teacher. También enfrente, tiene ahí, ahí, si lo buscamos en Google, aparece enfrente también. Uh -huh. 
teacher. Uh -huh. Podría repetir, perdón, es que escuché algo cortado las, las últimas cuatro preposiciones. Ok, tenemos entonces el in front of, que es algo que usted está enfrente de algo, right? Like, sí, yo estoy, I am in front of you. Tenemos la siguiente que sería between, que sería en medio o entre de dos lugares o dos cosas. Eh, luego, yeah, I'm ok, solo termino, solo termino, José. Y tenemos behind or behind, que es detrás de. Y luego tenemos across from, que puede significar al cruce de, o también puede significar enfrente de. Pero este está, eh, la cross, si nos fijamos, está como más lejos, right? Thank you. Ok. Yes, José, sorry. Eh, teacher, una duda. Eh, ¿Podemos decir next to o near? Near es algo, eh, next to es a la par, right? A la par. A la par de, next to. Y oh. near es algo que está más cerca de. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Okay, so that, that is pretty much of the prepositions, right? We can use them, remember, with there is, there are, like, uh, with the verb to be, too. So basically that is the topic. Okay, acá está, right? Aquí está, más que todo. Tenemos uh, next to, near. <coughs> Tenemos the coffee shop is next to, está. A la par de, right? And the coffee shop is near the bakery. El coffee shop está cerca, right? De uh -huh. the bakery. Ok. A la par de, cerca. Teacher. Uh -huh. En ese caso también se podría utilizar between. Oh, también, también podemos uh -huh. utilizar between. Así es. Muy bien. Pero en ese caso sería post office, ¿verdad? Post, post office between post the office is the coffee shop. Uh -huh. The post office is between, no nos olvidemos el verbo, mm -hmm. the bakery and the coffee shop. That's mm -hmm. good. Y luego tenemos this one, que es outside, afuera, right? Afuera de algún lugar. Y lo opuesto del outside sería el inside. Ok. Outside es fuera de, right? And inside es adentro. Por ejemplo, the cat is inside the house. Uh -huh. Yes, Dennis. Esta oración donde se está usando la palabra outside, uh -huh. ¿qué significa la palabra can? Mm, el can. Muy buena pregunta esa. Ok, el can. Ok, en este caso el can tiene muchos significados. En este caso significa eh, como esos, como estos, ¿cómo es que se llama? ¿Algo, ¿Alguien dijo por ahí el, el, el significado? Ok, déjeme. Garbage. Que me recuerdo que dijeron uno, pero no recuerdo. Pero son como los botes de basura. Eso es el can. También puede significar lata. El can también. Y también puede oh. significar puedo también. El can. Así que sí. ¿Tiene el depósito, un... ¿verdad, Miss? ¿Perdón? Depósito. Depósito, sí. Ese, exacto, depósito. Uh -huh. Depósito de garbage. Garbage can. También van a ver que el can es también estas latas de Coca-Cola. También puede ser eso. Y también significa puedo, que usted puede hacer algo. Pero este can lo van a ver más adelante. Ok, so that is pretty much right of the prepositions. No sé si hay dudas, questions. Okay, no questions. Okay, let's try to create some of the sentences. We have here some of the words that we can use. So um, I'm going to ask you some questions. No vamos a utilizar, uh, vamos a ser variados this day. Okay, so we have uh, the 
the, the radio. What is his radio? It's on, on top of the refrigerator. Okay, what about the watch? The watch. Let's see, uh, Alejandra, tell me where is the watch? Where is the watch? Where is the watch? Uh -huh. Perdón, teacher, no le escuché. ¿no? Okay, where is the watch? Where is the watch? Hacer la oración. Uh -huh. You have to answer. Tell me, where is the watch? Uh -huh. mm, no sé, teacher, me mm. perdí. On the table. No. Mm. Um. Okay, very good. It is, o, oh, the watch it is. is uh, what the watch it? is. Um. The watch is. Uh -huh. On the table, on, the, on table. the table, ok, muy bien. Ok, hagamos una pregunta, let's do the question. Vamos a hacer con glasses. Vamos a hacer la pregunta utilizando glasses. Por eso me va a ayudar Roxana, please, la pregunta. Hagamos la pregunta utilizando glasses. Mm. Eh, where are... Ok, to whom, para quién, to whom, para quién va esa pregunta Where are the glasses, mm. para quién es esa pregunta Para uh -huh. Para quién, to whom Wendy Okay, Wendy, please. Where are the glasses? Está ahí, Wendy? No está, Wendy? Okay, otra no. persona, please. Yes, oh, ahí está. Okay, sorry, Wendy. Go ahead, please. Respondámonos. Where are the glasses? Está. Mm. What? Uh -huh. About the coffee, sobre. Oh, ¿Cómo decimos sobre? Ahí voy. Uh -huh. eh, above. Above. Ok, recordemos que above no está tocando la superficie, right? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. um, Entonces sería on coffee. No sé, no es. Ok, on coffee maker. Ese es el coffee maker. Muy bien. Muy bien, Wendy. Entonces podemos responder: They are on the coffee maker. O la otra forma: The glasses are. The glasses are on the coffee maker. Either ways are okay. Uh -huh. Así que ahí está. Questions about that one? No questions? Okay, vamos entonces with the next question. Let's see, Gabriela, let's do number four, please. Number four, give me the question. Uh, Where are the headphones? Oh, correct. Very good. Where are the headphones? To whom, Gabriela? Tell me. Mm. Eh, Alguien Andrea. que tenga la cámara apagada, si es posible. Andrea. Andrea. <laughs> okay, let's see. Andrea, please. Where are the headphones, Andrea? I see you are friends. Ya veo que son amigas ustedes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good evening. Teacher. Good evening, Andrea. Eh, they are mm -hmm. on their mm -hmm. 
the chair. Excellent. They are under the chair. Very good. Muy bien. Excellent, Andrea. Okay, and the last one, please, Cynthia, number five, notebook. Where are the notebook? Mm, where, where is the Exactly. Where is the notebook? Muy bien, Cynthia. To whom? Hmm. Para quién? To whom? Um, <laughs> Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, please. Where is the notebook? The notebook is on. No sé cómo se dice ese pantry, no sé cómo que. Oh, the pantry? Pantry. Okay. Mm -hmm. The counter too, right? Counter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically that is the, the, the information. No sé si hay dudas or questions, guys, about that part. Tratemos de utilizar ahora el there is y there are. Tratemos de utilizarlo, right? Con las prepositions, que también lo podemos utilizar. Yes, Dennis. Uh, en la primera oración, en la pregunta, ¿por qué aparece la palabra where his had? Where's his? his. Ajá. Ajá. His. Porque estamos en esta pregunta le está, estamos, nos estamos refiriendo a, a que son de pertenencia de él, right? ¿Dónde está su radio? Y le viene la otra persona y le responde, está encima de la refrigerator. Porque las okay. demás, la demás preguntas las hicimos eh, de una forma general. No, no. Mm, sí, también. También lo pod podríamos haber utilizado el his. Where are his glasses? Where are his headphones? Para ser más específico. Okay. Así es. También recordemos que tenemos el, la S acá porque es del is cuando hablamos de un objeto, right? Entonces, también. Ok, so, let's continue. Vamos a continuar entonces. Vamos a utilizar el there is y there are. Ok, y para eso ustedes me van a ayudar, me van a ayudar a describir. A picture, for example, there is a coffee maker next to next to the books. Okay. Ahora quiero que ustedes me ayuden. Vamos a escribir una oración utilizando ya sea there is y there are. Okay. Hay un coffee maker. Son estos. Um, these ones, the coffee makers. Con las que hacemos el coffee, right? La cafetera, this one. Coffee makers. Ok, hagamos una oración, right? Utilizando there is más una, más una prepositions. Ahí les he compartido un ejemplo. Ok, escribámosla, please, en el chat box. Let's see. Okay, let's see the sentences, guys. Oh, I got one. Veamos. There is a coffee maker, muy bien, between the books and the refrigerator. Excellent, Dennis. 
excellent sentence. Okay, let's see the next one we have. There are keys on top of the backpack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, veamos this one. Okay, recordemos que la diferencia cuando utilizamos on top of es que es lo como usted tiene un objeto que está como es el más alto, entonces usted es ahí donde va a colocar un objeto, entonces ahí vamos a utilizar el top of, el on top of. Ok, entonces el on es cuando usted pone cualquier objeto encima de algo, pero cuando usted menciona el on top of es porque usted tiene el objeto más alto y ahí está poniendo usted eh, un objeto. Ok, then we have the next one. There is a newspaper between the door and the wall. Esa está muy buena. Ok, vamos a ver la siguiente. There are keys on top of park. Ok, veamos. Ok, si en el caso que tuviéramos el backpack, ¿verdad? Encima de la refri o encima de otro lugar, ahí sí, right? It's a good example. The computer is on top of the fridge. Ok, muy bien. Veamos, there is a refrigerator near the gym bar. Muy bien. There is the radio near the coffee maker. Muy bien. There is a newspaper behind the door. There is the laptop. There is a laptop también podemos utilizar. On the refrigerator, there is a computer near the chair. Near the chair, tengamos cuidado, solo es near, right? Quitemos el in. Veamos, there is a laptop next to the radio. Excellent. There is a watch on the table, muy bien. The radio is between the coffee maker and the notebook. There is laptop, excellent. There is a coffee maker, there are keys, muy bien. Ok, guys, questions. Ahí estamos utilizando, right? El there is y there are. Vaya, sí, haceme el favor y me la prestas para ver. Ok, 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 ok. Let's continue. Ok, so we have uh, this part. Ustedes van a ayudar a describirla. Ok. So we have the gas station and the supermarket. Ok, vamos a describirlo. Ok, Jonathan, me ayuda. Tenemos the gas station and the supermarket. ¿Qué preposición podemos utilizar? The gas station and the supermarket. Miren. ¿Qué está? Right? The gas station and the supermarket. Yeah, there you have. Hagamos una oración. Sería... Is there... Oración completa, right? Ok, escuchemos a Wendy. Escuchemos, let's listen, Wendy. Because first, ladies, right? And then I'm going to go over with you, Jonathan. Sorry. Ok, Wendy, please. Pero tenemos que poner el there is the gas station. Eh, sería behind the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos a hacerla. Let's do it. Esa es una opción, right? Vamos a tomar. Let's take your, your option first and then we're going to listen Jonathan's sentence. So Wendy was saying there is a gas station did you say near wendy no or what is behind behind excellent behind the supermarket that is one option do you have another option jonathan mm -hmm. there is a mm -hmm. gas station the next mm -hmm. uh, supermarket next to the super next to the supermarket excellent muy bien Ex supermarket okay very good jonathan 
Ok, solo recordemos que la, que la, que la preposición es next to, ok. Solamente, ahí nos quedamos, next to. No hay que agregarle ni in, no hay que agregarle nada, solo next to. Ok, vamos con la number two. ¿Qué opción tenemos? What, what option do we have to create a sentence? Me va a ayudar, please, Sofía, number two. Let's do it. We have the camera store, and then we have the shore, the shoe store, and the coffee shop. So what options do we have? Okay. Um, there, the camera store. Perme, perme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I no sé, teacher. No encuentro el camera store. Okay, let's see. What is the camera store? Oh, here it is. Okay, let me just point it out. Rob's camera será. Ah, no, Miss. Mm -hmm. This one, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Vaya, sería the camera store is between. Uh -huh. Should have Joe Joe store, creo que. Uh -huh. The Joe and, stores. Yes. And Paul's Coffee. Exactly, excellent. So we have that the camera or Rob's camera's store is between Joe store, okay, Joe store and Paul's, Paul's coffee. Okay, excellent. Do we have any other option? Tenemos alguna otra opción? Um, or that can be all. ¿Qué otra opción? Do we have any other option, guys? Uh -huh. Se podría utilizar el near. Okay, ¿cómo? Tell me. Give me the sentence. Uh -huh. The camera store is near a Paul's coffee. Yeah, the cameras, the cameras store is near Paul's coffee. We have more options. Muy bien. Okay, very good. Let's go with number three, please, Dennis. The red, the red car, and then we have the gas station. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dennis. There is mm -hmm. a red car. Mm -hmm. In front of there is a red car, muy bien, in front of, in front of the gas, the gas station. station. That's right, muy bien. Okay, very good. Vamos con la number four. Me ayuda, Andrea, please, number four. The shopping carts and the supermarket. Why? Shopping cart, ¿cuál es? Shopping, shopping carts son como los que llevamos en el super, right? ¿Dónde está? Ok, let me, let, okay, give me just a moment to show you. Okay. Shopping, no hay. Ok, these ones, the shopping carts are these ones. Oh. The ones you take the, the food and you use them, they roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. So the shopping carts, tell me, Andrea, please. Perdón, teacher, se me fue linda. No, no worries. Eh, the shopping carts son los carritos de afuera. Exactly, ajá. Uh -huh. Son como, how do you say that? Los carritos, yes. Donde llevamos comida en el super. That is the shopping carts. The supermarket. Uh -huh. So, a sentence. Hagamos una oración, a sentence. 
the the shopping cars uh -huh. are muy bien that's right are are in front of supermarket Excellent. The shopping carts are in front of the supermarket. Okay, no sé si hay dudas, questions, guys, about there is, there are, las prepositions, ya vimos preguntas. Okay, we have studied a lot. So is there a question you have? Or we can continue with the part where you are going to practice speaking and listening también. No questions? No, ok, good. Ok, vamos a pasar al siguiente, a la siguiente activity, pero necesito saber um, if you can travel to any part of the world, what city or place would you like to visit? Si pudiéramos viajar, guys, if you can travel to any part of the world. Ok, if you can travel to any part of the world. Which city? O qué país or country les gustaría visitar? Okay, quiero que me lo escriban en el chat box, right? Okay, think about a place. Existen las siete maravillas del mundo. Maybe that is one place you want to visit or country you want to visit. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a conocer some more things about you. Veamos. Okay, I, okay, let's see. Veamos. Tenemos, okay, Turkey, Turkey, okay, Alejandra. Okay. Qatar, okay, Qatar, Roxana, that's interesting, Qatar. Okay, we have Greek from Alejandra. Tokyo, Japan, yes. I was thinking the same, Gabriela. Parece que vemos los mismos animes. Then we have United States. United States, really? Maybe mm -hmm, United States. South Korea, parece que también con Andrea vemos los mismos. ¿Cómo sé que se llama? Doramas. <laughs> Something like that. South Korea, okay. England, okay, Cynthia, England. Then we have Spain, Spain, Spain right? Spain, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Spain, okay. Italy, saben que, no sé si han visto, pero en Italia están llevando a mucha gente. Están llevando a mucha gente. Había visto como que estaban vendiendo las casas, no sé, no sé si por menos de mil dólares, porque la gente ya no quiere vivir ahí. Okay, that, that, that can be an option, right? Then we have Swiss, Paris. Okay, then we have Suecia arrive to Karina. The same for Jonathan, Spain, Italy. And then we have this place, Switzerland. Yes, for sure, Raquel, yes. Mm, very, very interesting. There are keys, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> ya me fui hasta, hasta de muy arriba. Ok, yes, right. Hay unos lugares muy bonitos. Estambul. Ok, ok, Manuel. We have this place. Vamos a ver entonces un video donde usted puede ver que las algunas maravillas que tenemos, right. Y luego vamos a hacer una actividad con base to that video. Ok, give me just a moment to share with you my screen. Ok, aquí está. Vamos a ver unos tres minutos. No more, I promise you. Ok, let's see. Ok, let's see. Ok, there you have.
They're breathtaking, they're eye-opening, they're jaw-dropping. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most beautiful places in the world. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most beautiful locations the natural world has to offer. Number 10, Palawan Island. Picture a place where the most intensely unnatural colors are real, where jagged rock formations seemingly drip into hopelessly clear water, surrounded by rich lagoons and richer forest, and you've pictured Palawan. Largely untouched by man, it's been voted the world's most beautiful island more than once, with its beach El Nido also topping lists. Cartoonishly colorful and psychedelically vivid, this hidden gem is accessible by plane or boat and is home to unique wildlife, including the Philippine mouse deer and purple crabs. Number 9. Seljalandsfoss These falls are among the best known in Iceland and rank among the most beautiful in the world. Part of the Seljalands River, the falls and their 197-foot or 60-meter drop are fed by waters from the volcanic glacier Eyjafjallajökull, a land of seemingly never-ending rainbows. Seljalandsfoss has the added bonus of a cave behind the fall's aquatic curtain, allowing visitors a surreal viewpoint. Best still, the location itself is relatively easy to access and can be seen from a nearby, well-used ring road. Number 8. Plitzwitzer Lakes National Park One of southeastern Europe's oldest national parks and a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1979, Plitzwitzer Lakes National Park has over 73,000 acres or 297 square kilometers of something for everyone. Overflowing with waterfalls, cascades, hiking trails and limestone canyons, it's hard to know where to look. But the lakes and their vivid colors are the park's main dish. Plitzwitzer actually features 16 interconnecting lakes, all of which change color thanks to minerals, organisms and a trick of the sun. Number 7. Algarve de Benajú Located on Portugal's southern coast, this seaside gem was once a fishing-based region, but today the Benajú Sea Caves draw visitors based on looks alone. It's best accessed by water, by kayak, boat or swimming, but your efforts will be rewarded with unfathomable beauty. Like a vast cathedral of divine handiwork, this natural grotto, with its rocky walls, silky sand and weathered skylight, is enough to make you feel small and insignificant, and yet protect it against everything else the world has to offer. Number 6. The Cliffs of Moor Dismantled during the Napoleonic Wars, today the only reminder of the fort for which these gorgeous cliffs were named is an old watchtower. Rising 390 feet or 120 meters at Hag's Head, to a height of 702 feet or 214 meters down the coast, the cliffs are home to 30,000 birds from 20 different species, including adorable puffins. A look in any direction provides a view of other Irish dreamscapes, including the Twelve Pins Mountain Range, the Aran Islands, and the Mound Turks Mountains. Number 5. The Great Barrier Reef and Whitehaven Beach the world's largest structure made by living organisms, the Great Barrier Reef was constructed by coral. It's home to diverse... Okay, guys, from these places, is there any that you would like to visit? Hay algún lugar that you would like to visit, guys? Uh -huh. Yes, right, all of them. Okay, uh, you can choose, I'm going to show you the activity that we are going to do right now. And uh, um, from the video, if you want, I'm going to let you choose. From the video, you can choose a place you would like to visit. So what we are going to do is that you are going to choose the place and then you are going to describe why you would like to visit the, that Place. ¿Por qué le gustaría visitar ese lugar? And uh, vamos a describirlo. You're going to describe this place. Y vamos a utilizar el there is y there are, right? Más las preposition of place que hemos estudiado. Lo vamos a hacer ocho oraciones por pareja, right? Esta vez sí, no quiero que eh, usted comparta las imágenes en el WhatsApp. 
No, usted lo va a compartir utilizando Zoom. Ok, así que nos preparamos con eso. Y, y la imagen, right? Don't forget that to present the picture. Algo bien importante es que sus compañeros esta vez le van a preguntar acerca de ese lugar. Ok, ya tenemos el nivel para hacer preguntas en inglés y usted ya tiene el nivel para responderlas. Así que esa va a ser la actividad. So get ready. Bye. Uh -huh. <ríe> Así que sus compañeros. Y no vamos a salir con, con, con preguntas de fáciles, va. No. Do you like it? No, nada de eso. Ya algo más. <ríe> yes, no, no. Sí. Why do you like it? Where is it? <ríe> Tell me about it. Ya tenemos el nivel. Así que so get ready to practice English. So guys, this activity will be done in couples, right? Lo vamos a hacer en pareja. Así que serían unas cinco oraciones por cada uno más. No nos olvidemos de describir por qué. Why you would like to visit that place. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to the breakout rooms and practice as much as you can. Finish <laughs> Do you have questions? No sé si hay alguna duda. Questions about the activity. You can Mira, choose. lo que vimos ahora no lo podríamos, no me lo podría mandar. For sure, Stephanie. For I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so we are. Me indican por favor en un mensaje quienes eh, están participando. Para yo poderlos mover, porque a veces se da que el compañero con el que le toca tiene la cámara y está viendo el partido, ¿verdad? Entonces no queremos, no queremos que solo uno trabaje, que sean los dos. Ok, así que me indican, por favor. Eh, teacher, mire, mi compañero no está trabajando. No quiere trabajar. Ok, para yo poderlo cambiar. Ok, vámonos entonces to the breakout rooms. And uh, basically, that is what we are going to do. No, por favor, no incluir nada de letra. Solo quiero la imagen. Ok. So, that's everything what I want. Y lo demás usted lo habla. Ok, so, let's go, guys. Let's go to the breakout rooms. José, ¿qué pasó, Emma? ¿Qué pasó? Ahí está. Este, hola, hola. Hola, hola, Víctor. ¿Qué este, se me había hecho? Hola, eh, fíjese que yo siento que voy a dar lástima en ese, en ese ejercicio, sinceramente, porque no he estado así. No he Ajá. estado con las clases totalmente, entonces. Sí, sí, sí Víctor, sí. sí. No sé si lo puedo hacer individual y, y o, a, no sé presentarlo, no sé. Eh, veamos. No sé. Ah, no, tengo a alguien más que está sin pareja. Lo voy a, lo voy a mandar con ella. ¿Ok? O sea, sí, pero en este caso, o sea, yo no abonaría mucho para ella, no sé. ¿Por qué, Víctor? Dígame, ¿por qué? <ríe> qué raro eso. <ríe> sí, sí, que no, no, es, no es todo al nivel, al nivel que se requiere. Pues, ahí se va a poner al nivel con la compañera. No sabe nada. <ríe> Ay, no, ahí. 
<risa> también ella. No, son también mentiras, ella. son mentiras. No, 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 solo estoy bromeando. Ah. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, tenemos dos cabecitas, así que podemos hacer mucho. Uh -huh. Ok, vámonos entonces. Entonces. Allí, ¿verdad? Tengo que entrar. Así es.
Entonces, we would like visit you. What's it? La vamos poniendo como en el chat para que nos queden a la tos. Uh -huh. Pues como it's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sería Le escucho cortar
so sorry, Karina. Did you finish? Hello, Karina. Did you finish? No, teacher. Aún no. Okay. So we'll just, we just have, let's see, like four to five minutes. Let me just check to whom you were working and then I'm going to send you. Okay, veamos con quién estaba trabajando, Karina. ¿O no tenía grupo? Okay. Sí, estoy. Si estaba trabajando con alguien, veamos. Sí. Veamos. Es que estaba eh, queriéndole compartir la imagen a mi compañera para hacerle ¿Quién la ¿Quién era? ¿Con quién era? Ay, no, se me olvidó. <risa> ¿Quién era? Maybe. Maybe. Con Maybe uh -huh. estábamos. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Mire, qué ra... Karina Gil. Sí. Es que está con dos cuentas, usted quizás conectada. Porque es que lo que pasa es que estoy, está en el teléfono y me pasé a la computadora para, para compartir la imagen. Porque desde sí. el teléfono, es que aquí veo que Entonces está a... con ella. Ajá, por eso no la encontraba. Me voy a salir del teléfono y me voy a quedar en la computadora. Vaya, entonces la voy a mover ahorita con... Maybe. con ok, con Maybe. Sí, con Maybe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Veamos. Ok, intentemos entonces, eh, Karina. Okay. Felicidades okay. ayer, por cierto. Congratulations.
Hey guys, time is over. Let's see your presentation. And remember that all of you must be uh, paying attention because you are going to ask some questions to your partners. Okay, please, vamos a escoger. No sé si hay alguien volunteer. Is there a group that is ready? Who wants to be the first one? Okay, no, 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 there, there are no groups. Okay, so let's see, veamos, Andrea, please, me da un número del 1 al 8, from 1 to 8, y ese número va a ser el que va a presentar. 4. 4, no. veamos, number 4, tenemos a Dennis and Jonathan. Okay, guys, let's go, number 4. <laughs> You are going to be the first one, so. <laughs> <laughs> Pero mejor, así ya están más tranquilos during the, the other presentation. Okay, so let's go, please. Yo voy a presentar. Stephanie, solo caritas no daba, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> solo caritas usted, Stephanie. Okay, let's listen to Jonathan. Recordemos que después ustedes le van a hacer preguntas a él, right? So, let's get started. We would like to visit Niagara Falls. Because it is a beautiful place. There are very waterfalls. There are on between Canada and United States. There are three falls. There are cruises, cruises, ships facing on their night. Undernight. Um, they are popular not only for their beauty, but for their source of energy. That's it. Okay, and your partner is Dennis, right? Okay, Dennis, please continue. Estas son todas pequeñas. Agreguemos más información, Dennis. There is, there are. Okay, try to add more information. There is a beautiful place. ¿Qué más, Denise? ¿Qué más vemos ahí? Hay muchas personas, right? ¿Cómo podemos traducir? Hay muchas personas. There are. There are que. There are much. muchas. ¿Cómo decimos muchas? There are. Much. Mm, much or many. 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 There are. There are many. There are many, many persons. persons. ¿A dónde? Yes, in the Niagara Falls. Ok, ¿qué más? Tenemos una bandera también. ¿Cómo decimos bandera? Sería flag. Hay una bandera. Uh -huh. There is. There is. Uh -huh. uh, flag. There is a flag. Muy bien. Okay. ¿Qué más podemos decir? What else can we say? Hay mucha agua, right? ¿Cómo decimos hay mucha agua? There are many. Mm, pero agua, ¿será que podemos contar el agua? 
There is. No. There is. Ajá, muy bien. Mucha agua. ¿Cómo decimos mucha agua? There is many water. Many, many recordemos que es para contables, right? Much. There is Much. también a lot of water. A lot of water. There okay. is a lot. There is a lot of water. Ok, excellent. Ok, vamos entonces a pasar a las preguntas. So let's go with the questions. Y la primera pregunta la va a hacer Cynthia, please. ¿Para quién? ¿Para Jonathan? Or for Dennis? Hmm. Uh -huh. um, Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is ubicate this place? Okay, the Falls Niagara or oh, the Niagara Falls is between New York and Canada. Okay, thank you. Excellent, Dennis. Excellent. Very good. Okay, excellent, Cynthia, too. Okay, another question, una pregunta más. Esta la va a ser, let's see. Andrea, please, to Jonathan. Uh -huh. pregunta utilizando there. Lo que hemos visto en el módulo. Everything we have studied. Menos el do you like, menos esa, ok. No sé qué preguntar. Think about the question. Why eh, a lot of People decide to visit this place. Uh -huh. Jonathan. That's a good question. Why are there a lot of people who decide to visit this place? Uh -huh. Because it's a beautiful place. They are popular for their source of energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. The, it is a famous place, right? And the source of energy. Excellent, Jonathan. Very good. Okay, démosle un aplauso, please, to this group. Okay, a clap for them, guys. Very good. Acá por acá están los emojis, right? Ok, excellent job. Thank you, Jonathan. And solo dos aplausos. No, guys, ¿qué pasó? Tres, solo tres aplausos para Jonathan y Dennis. Ok, ok, much better. Ok, there you have. Ok, thank you, guys. So let's go with the next group. I have um, from one to eight, eh, Jonathan and Dennis. Uh, please, just a number. Un número, please, from one to eight. Number six, okay, I got Gabriela and Stephanie Raquel. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Um... I talk about the Japan generalidad general gen, bueno generalidad de Japón me toca a mí. Okay. Japan is a island country in Asia. Eh, geographically Japan is located in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, there are many cities. Uh, Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, etc. 
uh, Japan is the third land largest economy in the world. Ya, ya dije mis cuatro, no es las tuyas. Aquí no lleva el micrófono. Ah. Eh, um, in Japan, there are coffee shops and that have animals like cats. Eh, the cats are in the coffee shop and the cats are near to the people. And there is a street where a lot of people are across from all the days. Um, there is a lot of things about anime, Japan culture, and also there are bright advertisements uh, on the top of the buildings. And there are a lot of buildings on in Shibuya, Shibuya Street. Okay, thank you, ladies. Let's let's listen to the questions. Can you please project the, the picture? Podemos proyectar la imagen, please? Can you please keep the picture? Okay, thank you. Okay, let's have some questions. Okay, let's see. Vamos a pedirle. Let's ask. Okay, let's see. Veamos. Jose, please, a question for the group. Una pregunta, please, to the group. Jose? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, um, uh -huh. Hey, podría ser teacher. What do you like? What do you like? more hmm. what do you like more um and uh, la ciudad como es okay do you prefer the city uh, or or the countryside or the country mm -hmm. okay Okay, hagámoslo entonces, José. Do it. Let's do it. What do you like? Perdón. Eh, do you like? Do you do like? You, do you like? Uh -huh. Do you like in the country? The countryside or the, the city? Or the city. Uh -huh. Para quién? To whom, José? Uh, uh, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you like more the city or the countryside and why? Y por qué? Le vamos a agregar ese why. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, I like the city because mm -hmm. have, I, I don't know. Uh -huh. I have a building. Uh, that only have video games floors and have no oh, I like that. In the in the Tokyo have a building have video games floor only. You like more the city? Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Okay, because they have uh, those video game places, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gabriela. Okay, the next question, please, Karina. To Stephanie, the question. Hagamos la pregunta, Karina. Mm -hmm. Yes, Karina. Stephanie. Uh, in Japan, is uh, what people, what people in numbers, 
no sé cuántos. How many? How many? How many person? How many people in the city? More or less? In, in cuántas cuántas personas más o menos visit in in city de Japan? Okay. Ya le voy a averiguar, pero. <laughs> How many persons <laughs> visit, right? Japan. Visit in the city Japan. Mm -hmm. How many persons see, uh, visit? In a year. In it can year. be per year, per year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many persons like uh, visit, right? Like Japan's a place. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the visit. Um, much, 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 Este, pero... Vamos a ver para allá. Uh -huh. A number, more or less. Uh -huh. Or between, right? In between. En between. Uh, and, and one millions, millions. Uh, one million, two, uh -huh. or three. Or three. Okay. Um, the number, the, the number <laughs> people visit is the um, sixteen million. Mm -hmm. This is saying sixteen sixteen millions. Sixteen million. People, okay, that's a lot. That's too much, right? Yeah. Just for a, a small place. So that, that must be a lot. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. We thank have... You, uh... Stephanie. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was really good. Thank you, ladies. Hagamos demole un fuerte aplauso, right, uh, to Stephanie and Gabriela. Congratulations, ladies. Okay, good job. Ok, vámonos entonces, los demás se me han salvado. Nos queda para la próxima semana. Eh, estaríamos el lunes acá, ¿verdad? Ya sería el último día. Y con eso terminaríamos, right? Y se vamos a seguir con las presentations, too. Ese día vamos a hacer el último examen. Vamos a hacer la encuesta que tenemos, que tienen que hacer ustedes. Así que... Por favor, tratemos de estar puntuales porque sí vamos a tener como esas actividades que son necesarias. Ok, me dan un momento. I'm, I'm going to pass the attendance. And uh, yes, basically that. Let's see. What is it? Oh, mañana it, entonces no hay clases. Mañana es el día del padre, right? Así que todos los padres van a tener ese día. Happy day. Yes, happy Father's Day, right? Happy Father's Day. A ver, ¿cuántos papás tenemos acá? Solo dos. Happy Father's Day, Benny, <laughs> Jonathan, eh, José. José. Uh -huh. Miren, y el otro Manuel, no sé dónde está. Manuel o Víctor, ¿no? Sí. Ah, Víctor. Víctor también, ¿verdad? No, Víctor, no voy a hacer que los estemos haciendo padres y no ser padres también. <risa> los, demás, los demás se conectan mañana, teacher. Sí, los demás se van a conectar. No, porque tenemos papá. Ah, sí, sí. <risa> Lo más gracioso es que es que la mayoría cuando es el, el los papás, unos poquitos se han fijado y cuando es el día de las madres, de dónde han salido tantas, ¿verdad? Discrimination. <risa> Discrimination. <risa> <risa> okay, guys, I will pass the attendance. Okay, Alejandra, 
Maybe Alejandra. Present. Okay, Present. see you, Alejandra. Podemos retirarnos. See you tomorrow. Let's see, Good Wendy. Night. Good Thank night. You. Wendy, the yeah. ad, there you are. Bye bye, Wendy. Victor, me pareció ver a Victor unos minutos. Stephanie. Stephanie Raquel, there you are, Stephanie. Sofía, Sofía, me pareció ver Sofía. No, se nos fue Sofía. Ok, no, let's estaba. see. Sí, verdad, sí estaba. Bien. Ok, let's see, Roxana Lisette. Roxana. Por ahí es Roxana. Yes, there you are, Roxana. Ruth, ¿está Ruth? Ruth Verónica. ¿No está? No, teacher. No. Ok. Ok, let's see. Eh, Alison, ¿está Alison? Yes, present. Ok, thank you, Alison. Have a good night. Let's see, Andrea. Bye. Bye, Andrea. Ok, thank you, yes, Andrea. Sir. Have a good night. Good night. Cynthia, Esther, Cynthia. Cynthia, Cynthia. Ok, yes, thank you. Me. Ok, thank you. Have a good, good night. night. Dennis Ulises, Dennis. Ok, yes, there sir. you are. Eh, Dora Guadalupe, Dora. No está Dora. Y nunca vimos a Dora el Explorer. No, no la vimos. Ok, let's see. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth no está. No está Elizabeth. Nunca vimos a Elizabeth, right? Emma. Present. Ok, thank you. Veamos Gabriela Beatriz. Gabriela. Ok, thank you. Jonathan Alexis. Ahí está. José también, por ahí lo vi. Present, present. Ahí escondidito lo vi a José, yes. No, no worries. No worries. Let's see. Um, good night. Good night. Bye bye, Jonathan. Good night, good see. night. Karina del Carmen, ahí está. Yes, there you are, Karina. Muchas felicidades, right? No la felicité. For yesterday's. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe, ahí está también. Um, Raquel también por ahí la vi a Raquel sí, está. Ahí está Raquel, ok Y veamos Y Roxana, ok Ya estamos, ok, ladies, have a good night Dígame Alejandra, le escucho Teacher, una consulta Estaba escuchando que el lunes es la última clase Y que mañana sí. no tendremos clase ah, Exacto En cuanto a las actividades, ¿siempre se cierran mañana O hasta el lunes? Mañana sí, para mañana ya tendríamos que tener todo y gracias por recordarme, tendríamos que tener okay. de la sección 1 a la 4 okay. y el examen de medio, de medio, de mid term, right? Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Bye. de nada, good have night. a good night, see you. Goodbye. Goodbye, see you. Bye. Usted solo, quiero ver qué se nos hizo. Ok, ya se nos fue. Ok, good night. No, no, no. No, 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 Raquel, no, no, no se preocupe. No, no, no problem. Se cuida, Raquel, see you. Nos vemos. ¿Y usted, Emma? Hola. ¿Qué se nos hizo, Emma?